kind of always was most interested in music. Um, my mom taught me piano. That was like one of the first instruments I learned. Um, played saxophone for like seven years. It's always felt like just the thing that I wanted to do more than anything else. With drumming in particular, the feeling of uh, being able to hit something and having it be like a positive outcome, you know, it's, it's just fun. There's really nothing else quite like it. What else can you sit down and just like start smashing on things and everyone's like, great job. It's like, all right, it's fun. Well, I do a lot of engineering work uh, on the albums. It's definitely helped inform me on my playing. It never really been brought to my attention. It's just like, oh, how often are you hitting this drum the exact same way every single time? And working in a studio setting, especially recording a lot of drummers, probably one of the worst things you can get on the receiving end is very inconsistent dynamics. And then live, not everyone can see me, but everyone in this room can hear me. So I want to sound solid. There's, there's something to be said for just 100% feel. Um, like uh, John Otto from Lit Biscuit. You can just tell he's one of those dudes who's just, he's just a feel player. Ultimately music needs to come from the heart, not the, the head. The part calls for a little bit more. Well, how do we make it more, but how do, I, how do you keep it feeling as good as possible? And not just throwing out rudiments for the sake of rudiments. Because anyone can do that, but it's not music.